Hey, it's Cosmos Solutions 8 here with your daily Google News. And today, uh, I want to show you Google has something you should subscribe to. Incidentally, it's uh, the Ads Best Practices newsletter. I'll show you where to subscribe here at the end of the video. Um, and they sent this out today. Uh, behind the scenes look at smart bidding. Get the full guide. And so they give you a little bit of a tease as to how Google's bidding works. They keep pushing this real-time auction, which I didn't think was... I didn't think that was being questioned, to be frank. I thought that we've all kind of settled on the fact that that's been that way for some time. But I guess Google, for whatever reason, feels the need to reinforce that narrative, which is interesting. Anytime I see uh, repetition in Google's literature, I always pay attention because that lets me know that that's like the PR note that some attorney gave them. Um, so here's what we've got. Uh, I'll include a link to this in the description of the video. They've also, I you know, always click on Google's hyperlinks. Um, so there's a bunch of uh, supplemental and supporting articles that I'm not really going to reference because it's all rote and routine stuff. But just a pro tip for you, you can go down quite the rabbit hole, but Google hides really relevant things. For instance, dynamic prospecting, which I think is maybe one of the most important facets of the entire Google ecosystem, especially for e-commerce stores, doesn't have its own dedicated page. It has a, a paragraph or two on another page in Google's FAQs. So it makes sense, a lot of sense for you to, to dig around a little bit. But a couple of things that I think are really interesting. Number one, this is so repetitive. This, you know, definition, explanation, definition, explanation. This feels like something that somebody wrote for a university paper um, at a bad university. But I, I do like Google's tailoring bids to each user's unique context. I like that they are admitting to using more of the signals than they have admitted to in the past. Not to say that they haven't admitted to it entirely, just to say that they used to be pretty cautious about saying things like this. And here it is, black and white, which is great. Um, and I mean, something that we've already kind of known, but I, I just like that it's becoming more about more of the common narrative. Um, here's what I think is interesting. So Google goes on to say, ensure that you measure all conversion actions that are valuable to your business and include them in the conversions and conversion value column. I agree with this more and more and more every day. I think that with automated bidding, it's really important to give Google predictive indications of intent. And so if you have things that aren't conversions in your mind, meaning this isn't a lead, but they are, they are uh, indications that somebody could potentially become a lead at some point, I would give that to Google. So a lot of your top of the funnel actions, measure those. Um, this is especially true for my smaller advertisers that don't have the budget. But to be honest, big advertisers with great big budgets, this is going to make your budget more efficient. So... You know, Google's pushed for more conversion actions for a really long time. I used to be a little dismissive of that, and that's because we had so much more control. But but now that we have less control and we're giving you know some of it up to the machines, it's really important that the machine, at a minimum, can it can at least see everything that we can see. So this additional context, I think, is going to be I think is going to be really important. So measure more of your conversion actions, lead magnets um, specifically, but you know, tripwires, downloads, um, even in oh, I'm going to get nailed for saying this, but um, even certain page views or combination of page views, you can go to Tag Manager and just go to town on the rules engines that you want to build. But, you know, if somebody's been to my pricing page three times that day or whatever, you know what I'm, you don't have to go that far. But give Google all of your conversion actions, not just your extreme bottom of the funnel. Um, this is my favorite <laughs> note. You should feel comfortable changing CPA and ROAS targets as frequently as you would like. And, pause, wait for it. By as large a magnitude as you would like, are you freaking kidding me? No greater way to firebomb a campaign than just, dear God in heaven, don't listen to Google there. Um, the fact that they'd have the audacity to write that, I think, is hysterical. And, and, and either they've made an algorithm change that I'm not up to date on, and I'm going to go eat crow later, or whoever's writing this crap does not run ads because... There is nothing worse that you can do. Well, I can't say nothing. It, one of the worst things that you could possibly do is play Rattle the Cage with your Google Ad campaign and change ROAS targets. Like, I just think that that is, it's irresponsible that they wrote that. Um, as large a magnitude as you would like. Why? Smart bidding reacts immediately to any target change by adjusting. But yes, yeah, right. Oh my goodness. Uh, our alg algorithms apply adaptive historical weighting to rely more heavily on recent data when adjusting bids while also accounting for the length of your conversion cycle. This was really helpful for me to read again. It's not something that is new, but it's something to remember. Your most recent conversions 
are going to be they're going to have precedence and 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 or, or preferential treatment we should say and this is important to know too especially if you have multi-channel traffic uh uh multi-channel traffic channels that was redundant and and they're cyclical because you'll notice like um you you start sending like you know your your annual email blast or whatever um the the conversions that you're going to be getting from that are going to be heavily in the remarketing realm and maybe that's a bad example but you know you start running facebook ads for the challenge that you have going and now your 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 facebook ads the the way that google is going to bid is now heavily influenced by the more recent conversions because you had a big influx in facebook traffic and when that goes away there's there's an adjustment so it's it's just worth us remembering that Google is making an attempt at taking into consideration the ebbs and flows of your current situation and status. Um, and, and this isn't a fully formed thought yet for me. It's something I need to meditate on a little bit, but I did want to bring it up. Um, and then just here at the bottom, they have a fun... Oh, my face is back. They have a fun little uh, note, a richer set of contextual signals. I love... They market the signals that are benign. Device, location, time of day. Nobody cares about that. Uh, other signals like browser, operating system, language, and, you know, many more. You know, like, I mean, like tens of millions, tens of millions of signals that um, let us know exactly who you are, what you're doing, what you want to buy. Um, we can peer inside your soul. No big deal. Uh, I just, I think that that was funny. Um, down here at the bottom, sign up for our best practices newsletter, which I'd recommend doing, which I'd recommend doing. Because uh, you get some helpful info out of it. But I just wanted to share that with you, especially because I saw Google say the dumbest thing I've seen them say in a really long time. And I just needed somebody else to hear it. I uh, would love to know your thoughts, opinions, feedback. Um, if you disagree with anything that I said, which is great. Uh, I don't know who said this. It might have been... Well, I won't try to attribute it. But if two people agree on everything, one of them is unnecessary. So for those of you that have been offering some dissent, um, I appreciate you for being necessary. <laughs> And if you spotted something in there that I didn't spot, I'd love to know about that too. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know we actually know what we're doing. We shoot a video every single day. So if you want to be notified, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any input, don't hesitate to hit us up in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We get very little human interaction. Thanks for supporting our channel. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.